Hello friends, hope uh, you are doing well and welcome to Code Hinfin. Friends, in, in this video, uh, we are going to cover optional classes. Okay, and we will cover almost all methods that are present in optional class with example so that you can understand in a better way. So, let uh, first understand what is optional class and why it is introduced in Java 8. So, optional class uh, it is uh, introduced in Java 8 means dedicated. It is a final public final class and used to deal with null pointer exception and avoid null checks in Java application. So before optional classes to uh, to uh, deal null pointer exception, we have to check uh, we have to add multiple null checks. Okay, so it's just avoid null checks and uh, move on some important methods of uh, optional classes. First method is empty. To create a empty optional instance, we use empty method. So I have created optional class with main method. So I want to use empty method. E -E -E -M -P -T -Y. So optional, I will take a string as a parameter. str is equal to optional dot empty method dot empty method it should be optional and just print out its value by sysout sysout str so you will get result as a optional dot empty optional dot empty so optional is uh, like a box and the value present inside this box so optional dot empty is to create an empty instance of optional class let's move on second method and that is off method of t value t is a gen generic type we can pa pass any value uh, return an optional with a specified present non null value so I just want to create a uh, optional with some non nullable value in this case I will use of method so I will take optional str1 optional dot of and I am going to pass it uh, as a string first string So uh, once I have to get the value from this str1 means optional string so I will use get method sysout str1 dot get if I print only str I will uh, also get the result but it is uh, the value is inside optional so let's run this program and see the result here is the first result first line result and this one is a second line second line result so once you are going to print str1 it's it will print with optional bracket its value but once we get its value then we will get actual value that is first state str the main condition of this off method is that the value that is present inside this off method should be not nullable if I will pass null value inside this method in this case I will get null pointer exception thread uh, exception thread main java dot lang dot null pointer exception so it is the main point of this off method that we have to pass not nulla non nullable value inside this off method suppose that if there is any possibility to get null value in this case I will use of nullable of nullable so just take these lines change this str1 to str2 str2 and again write its value first string suppose that now I am passing 
नल वैल्यू इनसाइड ऑफ नलेबल मेथड ओके ऑफ नलेबल so here is off null level method it is also take generic generic type value return an optional describing the specified value if non null otherwise return an empty optional so once i pass null value inside this off method we will get exception but if i pass null value inside this off null level method we will not get any kind of exception so it's return optional dot empty so when there is a chance of null value just use off null label otherwise otherwise use off method now move to the third me uh, next method that is get method get i told you that it's uh, get the actual value if there is no uh, value present then we will uh, get no such element exception suppose that i am passing null value to this off null label method and just want to access its actual value by get method in this case there is no value present so i will get no such element exception no such element exception next method is if present so basically it's check it's check that value is present or not so suppose that i am taking this this as example str dot 2 and i am talking about method if present str dot 2 if present if the uh, value is present inside this str uh, variable then uh, i will consume its value str2 is present then i am going to print its value System dot out dot print ln and its value is st. So if value is present, then it print its value. Otherwise, it's do nothing. So just save the uh, this program and run. You can see that as str two value is currently null. so it's checking that if present but value is not present so this consumer is not going to be called but if there is any value as like hi hi then we are going to see result hi hi that is hi hi because it's checking if value is present then it's call uh, the consumer inside it's now moving to the next method and it is is present so suppose that if i want to add any condition that the value is present or not it's basically return true or false on the basis of this result we can do the required action suppose that i want to print this str again if its value is present otherwise i will ignore so and uh, uh, in this time i am calling is present method so inside this str value value is present it's not null so it's print this message sorry is present is present str2 so it's printing optional hi hi if its value is not present then it's going to ignore and if block will be not executed you can see that there is no result now friends moving to the next method and it is it is or else method suppose that there is a optional string str2 if its value just mention here that or else or else if its value is present or else we will pass any default value 
default value and just put this code inside sysout so it's basically check that if value of str2 is present then it will print its value if value is null means the value is not present then it's going to print out this default value so right now uh, you can see that str2 has null value so this line is going to print out this default value so just run the program save and run the program so it's going uh, it's printed default value if there is any value as like previous one high then it is going to print high value not the default one it's printed actual value in the same way next method is or else get or else get uh, inside this method basically there is a supplier so instead of uh, default method we can uh, use a supplier or else get so take the same example str2 and inside this we have to pass a supplier so here else get method otherwise we will get this error or else get inside this there is a supplier so if str value str2 value is present then it will print its actual value otherwise it will print this customized value so currently str2 has a value so it it, it is going to print this actual value that is high if i pass inside this str value as null then it's going to print the customized value this is the customized value so this is the main difference between or else and or else get or in or else we will get default value and in or else get we will get customized value and last method we are going to use or else throw so or else throw just take the same example for or else throw also so or else throw illegal state exception double column new so if str value is present then it will print str2 value otherwise it will it will throw an exception that is legal state exception so currently str2 value has null so it will throw an exception Is there any mistake? One, two, might be. One extra column uh, is added. That's why we are getting error. Just run, again run the program and we will get illegal state exception. If there is value, if there is any value that is present inside this str2 method, then it's just going to print that value instead of uh, throwing an exception. So friends, these are all about optional classes. These are important methods that I have discussed. Uh, friends, meet you in next video. Till bye-bye.